Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech with Mega. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about eight things I wish I knew before becoming a DevOps engineer. As you all know that I switched my career from electronics domain to IT field. And I started learning various concepts, various technology throughout my DevOps journey. And there were these few technologies and things like what DevOps is and all those things. I thought if these things I could have known beforehand, before starting my DevOps journey, it would have actually helped me in fast tracking my journey and also helped me in uh, various uh, like in various projects where we actually try to implement DevOps. So in today's video, I'll be uh, going through those eight things and. Uh, if anyone like any fresher or any tester or if there is a if there are any person from any field who are trying to change their career towards devops or even trying to enter into the it field i'm sure that these things will surely help you so let's begin the video so the first thing is what is devops so whenever we think about switching our stream to DevOps domain, we start thinking about what are these DevOps tools, how to learn those tools. But that's not the first thing that you need to learn about. You need to learn what is DevOps, why DevOps is being used, what are its roles and responsibility. For sure, you'll be learning the tools, but before that, we need to understand why we will be implementing DevOps in our project or any domain. So let us understand this DevOps. So whenever we build an application, there is one team that is the development one that actually builds the code. They write the code for the application, test the application. And on the other hand, there is this operation team who is responsible for deploying the application, managing the server so that the users can actually access the uh, application. So DevOps is nothing but is a link between this development and operation team. It tries to bind these, these two things. So that is what is called as DevOps. And there are various misconceptions about DevOps that um, DevOps is a tool, it's a technology, or we can say that a misconception like DevOps is an individual person, but that's not true. DevOps is not a tool or not a technology. It's the state of a mind or a culture trying to implement the best practices by using the DevOps tool. So DevOps is not considered to be a single person. It's a kind of culture where we are trying to practice and trying to implement or automate the process as much as possible in our software industry. So that's what is we call as DevOps. So the second thing is uh, having good hold on Linux ba basics, shell scripting, bash scripting and all these things. So I'll tell you a real uh, scenario where I actually faced issue. Okay. So when I started working on uh, Azure, that's the first thing that I started working as a DevOps engineer. And uh, we started creating the build and a release pipeline. So during that process, there were a few repetitive tasks that needs to be automated. Since I was not much aware about this bash scripting or Linux uh, like shell scripting. So then I had to struggle a little bit because I had to learn those things during that time. So then I thought, okay, if I would have known the scripting language much before starting my DevOps journey, that would have actually helped me and I wouldn't like, I was never going to stuck in that process. So this, this scripting is actually, I can say a very helpful thing and it will fast track your process. So for sure, learn scripting language that will help you a lot. And there are various YouTube videos available. So you just search it, you just name it and you'll have plenty of videos available. If you start learning, so I can say that maximum within one month, you can be like, you'll be very good in that. So start learning uh, this scripting language. The other thing is uh, learn any programming language. So it's not, a, it's not mandatory that a DevOps engineer should uh, learn any programming language. But I'll tell you a scenario where I faced an issue and then I thought, okay, if I would have learned any one of the programming language, it would have helped me a lot. So um, actually developers will uh, write the code, develop the application, test the application, right? So they are the one who are writing the code. 
so uh, what happens is and we will actually build the pipeline build the pipeline release pipeline and deploy the uh, deploy the application so sometimes when the code has been built right when we build it when we test it we'll come across various kind of uh, errors and those errors will be shown in the logs okay and if you had some knowledge about any programming language it would have helped you in identifying the error okay this error seems to be related to some uh, some programming language okay we need to tell the developer okay this is the uh, error please fix it so if you had that knowledge right it will help you to identify because because for me what happened is i was not knowing any programming language and whenever we build the pipeline and sometimes it failed it will show a like a number of lines of errors then i was thinking okay is it related to code or is it related to the way we have structured the pipeline or way we have configured the pipeline so that actually took me a lot of time in um, distinguishing between the error okay whether i should correct in the pipeline or whether i should tell the developer to correct the code and so on these things uh, seems to be very small but it will actually help you a lot so that's the scenario where i faced uh, these kind of issues and hope this will help you a lot like learning any programming language so the next thing is understanding of any cloud provider so um, as i am from a non it background i was not knowing about that we have cloud provider also like aws gcp azure and all these things i only knew that amazon for shopping like we can go and shop and uh, take things so then i got to know that okay these are also the cloud providers so if you have some basic knowledge you can yourself learn about the cloud providers by uh, going to the various youtube uh, videos and all that will actually help you in understanding how uh, these uh, cloud providers actually work no need to learn all the three or any other having any one basic uh, understanding any one basic cloud provider will be very helpful it will help you to understand how virtual machines are created how the rules and policies are actually set up okay and uh, this is the one thing that you need to uh, like learn or have basic understanding next thing is uh, you can enroll yourself in any uh, devops course okay so um, since if you are being a fresher it will be little bit difficult for you to learn about the tools like docker git jenkins ansible terraform so if you try to enroll yourself in any course the way i did because uh, coming from a non it background i was not knowing anything so i had to enroll in any one of the course where they actually cumulative they actually explain the various different tools like uh, jenkins git uh, docker kubernetes ansible monitoring tool nagios all those things Th this will actually help you in uh, like uh, Uh, fast tracking your devops career and uh, these are the tools that are actually used in uh, like software companies and to implement uh, or uh, automate the process that they are actually working on so you can enroll yourself uh, as per your requirement you can do that so the next thing is that you need to have a good understanding about the concepts so here concept seems to be very simple word but it is actually very important and very useful So in DevOps domain, we have various concepts like uh, CI/CD concept, then uh, container orchestration, and infrastructure as code, virtualization. So all these are concepts that are very important. Related to these concepts, you will be have uh, various tools available that you can implement that. So you will come across uh, situations like well, team will come to you that these are the manual processes that we actually do right now, and it is consuming a lot of time. It's a repetitive task, and we want to automate it. So say for example, if you come across a situation where uh, where the things are done manually, and you want to um, uh, you want to use any um, a tool, DevOps tool in that, if you had understanding a good understanding about this CI/CD concept. you could relate it with the related tools say for example jenkins then you'll know okay this manual process needs to be automated using the jenkins tool same way you can use um, container orchestration then we have docker and kubernetes how to implement them will come later before we'll need to understand the concept about it so that's very important so you need to have a good understanding about the concepts that's how you will start uh, like working in uh, devops domain next thing is uh, self study 
okay so we all know self study how we do it uh, initially we'll have okay yes today I'll, today i'll try to do this today i'll try to learn this tool and on so on and then in one hour we'll be like bored this this happens with everyone it happened with me also i also used to get bored but that's okay anyhow like every day try to learn something try to read articles about uh, this devops try to read uh, about uh, like any uh, uh, pick any tool and start learning about it no matter what it is but start learning about it uh, read about one page two page whatever you can watch youtube videos also that will be much more uh, helpful so start uh, learning about things uh, self study is one thing that will actually uh, help you in um, like uh keeping that consistency along with you and that's very important so it, it it's totally depend upon you how you want to uh, like study and how you want to learn so self st study is one thing that actually help you so the next thing is communication and collaboration so we usually think that learning various devops tools will actually like it's the actually the uh, very most important thing in devops uh, engineer job yes it's important learning devops tool but communication and collaboration is equally important because if you have if you have good technical knowledge and if you're not good in conveying those things it is difficult for you to survive in devops world you'll come across situation where you need to communicate and collaborate with the dev team and ops team understand their process how they are actually building the code sorry how they are writing the code and building the application you need to understand those things need to uh, communicate with them uh, note down the manual processes these are the things where you actually require communication and good collaboration skills it will actually help you a lot in your devops journey so you can improve your communication and uh, collaboration skills so that's one thing that is very important Thank you for watching my video till the end. Hope you liked my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts, any questions, please provide that in the comment section. I'll be noting down all the points and writing it in the comment section so that uh, you can go through those things once again. So till then, thank you. Bye and have a nice day.